Alright guys, welcome back to Hypixel Skyblocks. So, after an entire year of waiting, the admins finally released the one and only dungeons update. I've made a couple of videos on the alpha server trying out these dungeon items, but today it's the real thing. As soon as it came out, I partied up with some of my friends, and I got one of the first ever adaptive blade drops on Hypixel, and right now that's the best sword for dungeons in Skyblocks, so I got pretty lucky. If you guys do enjoy this video, and you're new to the channel, or you're not subscribed, we're coming up on 169k, so if you guys subscribe, comment, or leave a like, it makes a huge difference. But yeah, that's about it for the intro, let's go on with the video. Okay, so let me give you guys a quick summary of the best drops that you can get at the end of dungeon floors because each floor has its own unique drops. On floor 1 you can get the Bonzo Staff which is a really expensive weapon that mages use, and you can also get the Bonzo Mask which has a ton of defense and it also gives you a second life whenever you die. On floor 2 you can get the Adaptive Blade and you can also get the Scarf Thesis Talisman which is quite expensive too. On floor 3 you can get the Adaptive Armor and you can also get the Recombobulator 3000 which is what you use to upgrade the rarity of items. So on the first and only run of floor 2 that my party did, this happened. Did we get S? Night out, Scott. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely insane. I have 2.5k defense. Look at your Skyblock defense. stats right now. Look how insane yeah, that we is. We still we got S. A combo and rejuvenate. Oh, I, I, got got I got an adaptive bleed. I think that's like the best uh, sword you can get right now. It's the best sword in the game. What, in the game? Yeah, it's better than uh, Midas. So yeah, I got super lucky as per usual, and I seriously don't understand how my luck is this good. Since this was the first adaptive blade on the server, I actually auctioned it, and then decided that I wanted it back to make this video. So I got Refraction to outbid everyone because he's slightly rich. People were literally trying to pay 50 mil and just kept outbidding Refraction, and I probably should have taken that to be honest, but it doesn't really matter. Anyway, that's how I got the sword, so now I'm going to showcase it. It feels so weird that the main server actually works now, like I can literally just go ahead and talk to this guy. But yeah, anyway, welcome back. So, right now I have a stone sword, okay? And as far as I know, this is the only stone sword weapon in Skyblocks, so that's kind of cool. So as you guys can see, if I go ahead and hover over this item, there are four stars next to the word Adaptive Blade, and if you look at those brackets, like right next to the damage and the strength, that's the bonus that you get while you're in dungeons, so... Basically, this weapon is like the best weapon in the game right now. It's better than a Midas sword, it's better than an Aspect of the Dragons. And the weapons cap out at 5 stars, but obviously the 5th upgrade is quite expensive, so it took a bit of saving up to get the stuff to upgrade it, but I can do it right now. So if I just right click on this NPC and we go into the Essence Crafting menu, I just gotta put this in here. And if we click this, it costs 100 Wither Essence and I have 159. So we can go ahead and upgrade this. So basically what this does is it increases the stat boost of the item by even more. Now, I've actually reforged it to fast because it gives you a ton of attack speed. So this weapon in dungeons has plus 100 bonus attack speed, but I already have 81%. So I think I'm going to reforge it to something else. I'm tempted to put it on Fabled, but I think Legendary is probably the best. So let's just go ahead and do this real quick. Oh wait, Spicy seems really good actually. It gives me plus 330 crit damage. So I think Spicy is probably the way to go with this weapon. So yeah, right now I have the current best weapon in Skyblock, which is pretty cool. And I got it so quickly too, which is even cooler. Okay, I may have just spent a couple million coins getting 16 combo 1 books. And right now I'm just going to combine all of these and put it onto my weapon to make it even more OP. So let's just go ahead and do this. Wait, 50 XP levels just to get combo 2? Oh, that's why it's so expensive. Okay, I have 3 stacks of grand experience bottles, but I still have a feeling that this is nowhere near enough. I'm actually going to drink this experience 4 pot that I brewed earlier. Okay, I have 8 combo 2 books, and this took like 400 levels already, so I dread to think how much combo 5 is going to take. 100 XP levels for combo 3? Dude, this is so insane. And 2 combo 4 books. Okay, now for combo 5, it's 200. Alright, I think I should be able to do this. Alright, combo 5, there we go. And then to put this on my sword, it's 250. Okay, hopefully this is enough. Okay, here we go, combo 5. So... This enchantment gives me, let me see, combo 5, every mob kill within 15 seconds grants plus 1 strength and plus 1 crit damage. So that seems pretty OP and it sells for 7 million coins but it only cost me like 2 mil to make so I don't know how that works but I'm definitely not going to complain. So when the update actually dropped I was working on a dungeons preparation video and I was like halfway through but obviously it came out really unexpectedly. Is that even a word? I don't even know. But yeah, as you can see I'm holding a red orb. And this thing is worth 70 million coins, and I bought it because I was getting laughed at by Palika and Refraction, so I got an Overflux, I wanted to make a video on it, but yeah, we got it. And this right here is one of the most expensive pets in Skyblock, and it is godly if you're a tank class. So basically what it does is it increases your defense by a huge amount, and it also increases your health as well. And when that's paired with the tank class, you're basically invincible, so... I'm gonna go ahead and do a floor 1 dungeon run right now, so it should be nice and quick, but you guys can see how much damage this thing deals. Oh yeah, one more thing actually. I also have a fuming potato book right here, so basically what it does 
is it increases your base stats of the weapon like the same way a hot potato book does. But obviously you can add it on top of hot potato books. So I'm going to go ahead and add one of these. You can actually add five, but I'm just going to chill with one right now because like they cost a lot of coins and I got it as a rare drop. So oh yeah, this weapon gives you buffs depending on the class that you're playing as well. So it's good for pretty much every single class. And with tank, it gives you plus 100 defense and plus five true defense, which is really helpful as well. Okay, so right now I'm in the floor 1 dungeon on my own, but I do have this blue whale pet and I do have this OP sword, so I'm gonna try and solo this. This is kind of funny because the floor 1 boss is a clown, and it's actually my birthday right now. I'm gonna have to fight my birthday clown, which is gonna be kind of hype. So what I want to do right now is just collect a ton of secrets and try and get out my blessing of power so that I can get a ton of, like, damage buffs and extra strength. And I have my Midas sword right here, so I can do a damage comparison between the adaptive blade and the Midas sword. But yeah, as you guys can probably tell, I've been playing the tank class most, and the reason why is just because it gives you a ton of extra health and it's really like cool because you can just protect your teammates and you don't really have to worry about dying too much because obviously my defense is like ridiculously high. So theoretically, unless I fight like some really hard mini boss, I should be okay soloing this. So we should be good to go. The only thing that's going to be kind of hard is completing it in good time. Oh, I just got a sword. Spicy Dreadlord sword, not bad. And slowly but surely, I'm like finding out a lot more secrets. So I think I just saw a cracked wall here and if I open up this... We have a secret chest, let's go. Oh, no way, it's this room. Okay, this is my favorite puzzle room because you just have to use your brain. One of us is telling the truth. They are both telling the truth. The reward isn't in Melrose's chest. The reward is not in my chest. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna be wrong, but it might be in Melrose's chest. I, come on. Yes, dude, okay. Holy, I actually haven't failed one of these yet, I don't think, apart from like in the alpha server, so. I mean, low key, I just guessed those puzzles, but like, they're like slightly educated guesses, so it's fine. I found another secret room. There's a weird like head here. Prince Marius, thank you for the revive stone. And we got a blessing of life one, not bad. So do I have a blessing of power? I do, okay, so my damage is slightly going up. I just found a secret place. Oh, there's a wither door here. Okay, let's just open that up. Oh, there's a lost adventurer. Okay, this might be kind of hard. I might need to use my ultimate ability so that I can actually like wipe these guys out. Actually, you know what? If I just place down my overflux, I should be okay because my regen and strength is going to be slightly higher. Okay, I'll send the lost, oh, okay, I literally one tapped him. I got some unstable frags as well, not bad, not bad. And I think I know where the lever is for this. It's just right here we can open up this please be a blessing of power come on blessing of stone okay that works because it gives me extra damage so we're getting our damage up like slightly i want to try and find one more blessing of power before i do like my ultimate damage test but you guys can probably see it's about like 60k per hit which is insane oh wait 100k what yeah my damage is 100k that's insane and also keep in mind that i'm playing the tank class which doesn't do any like bonus damage and i'm also using a blue whale which also doesn't give me any bonus damage. So if I was using like an Ender Dragon or something, this would be like 200k. All right, we have a Lost Adventurer right here. Let's just get him into a corner. Do 100k per hit and he should be dead before he can heal. Let's go. Okay. All right, I found a puzzle right here. You just have to TP to things. And there's some kind of pattern to it, but I literally just always guess. So um, I'm just going to run along like random teleport pads. Oh, I did it. Okay, I literally just went on random teleport pads until it worked. That's the fastest puzzle completing strat in Hypixel. I found another chest right here. Blessing of life. Not bad, not bad. Oh, I see another chest right there. I don't know where the lever is for this one though. So my damage with the sword right now is 102k, which is huge. And with a Midas sword, I am dealing 91k. So it's definitely better than a Midas. But once I get my catacombs level up even more, it should be like way better than a Midas, so that's kind of hype. Oh, this is the spider place. Yes. Okay, this is really good because you can get spider essence and that's used for upgrading the mosquito bow. So if I wanted to play archer, I definitely need to like grind out these floors. There's also a secret right here so I can go down and there should be a chest, a trap. Not bad, not bad. And I think there's one more secret behind here with a the chest. There we go. I found so many chests. This is insane. Blessing of power one, so I get even more crit damage. What do I deal now? 105, so it went up a little bit more too. Oh, all of the mini bosses have spawned down. Okay, let's just do a seismic wave. These guys actually might shred me, so I probably need to, I don't know, just do this over and over again. Dude, think about this. I can just stay in the corner with an overflux and just heal faster than these guys like do damage. I also got Revenant Slayer 8 a couple of days before the update came out, so I get double natural health regen, which in dungeons pays off so well. So if you guys have that, you're gonna be really good for like a healer class or a tank or something. And we killed all of them. Okay, it's time. We're gonna go to the Bonzo room. Oh wait, let me just pick up these blessings as well. I have Blessing of Power 11, so I'm gonna do so much damage, dude. Actually, you know what? I wanna do one final damage test right here. We're gonna run up the staircase. There's a skeleton guy here. So ideal. 133k 
and with a Midas sword, I deal 124, so yeah. The Adapted Blade is definitely a lot better, and I'm literally a tank class, so dealing this much damage is just insane. And <laughs> we're just gonna go ahead and kill him, so I should be able to like literally... Oh, he has like 2 million HP, not 200k. Alright, well I can kill him anyway. There we go, he is dead. We're gonna kill his minions right here. I'm getting like 100 combat XP per, so it's kinda good. Oh, what? Dude, Bonzo's doing damage to me. Wait, I need to like actually sweat out here. Oh no, the balloons. Actually, should I just charge through them? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Everybody gangster till the birthday clown starts shooting like deadly balloons at everyone. Alright, he's just literally- oh, he's dead. Alright, that was so quick, that's actually insane. Oh no, I didn't get 100% cleared. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna get like an A score or a B score. Dude, that's so annoying. It's literally because there was one secret that I couldn't open because I didn't know how. But I did get a red nose. What is that? Ridiculous reforge to a helmet. I should definitely try that on my, uh... Actually, do I want to put that on superior? Alright, we're gonna take the red nose. I don't know if that's actually a rare reforge stone because I haven't really run floor 1 before. I've done it like one time, but I always do floor 3, so... I don't know if this is good or not, but we're going to run to the exit and we're going to reforge one of the dungeon pieces. I don't know which one. Honestly, I'm slightly tempted to buy an adaptive helmet if there's one up for cheap. So let me see. 4.2 million for buy it now. Okay. You know what? We're just going to do it. 4.2. There we go. This reforge better be good. Okay. Adaptive helmet. Red nose. It applies the ridiculous reforge. All right. Let's just do it without even looking. And it gives me plus 4% crit chance. A lot of health, which is pretty good. A lot of defense. Okay, that's actually quite good. Ridiculous bonus. Fart when you sneak. Huh? What? what? Reduces your crit chance by 20% for 20 seconds, but grants plus 30 defense for 5 seconds and plus 50 mana. Requires at least 20% crit- What is that? Dude, I did not know that was in the game. Okay, well, that's a pretty good birthday present. I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll definitely take that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching that video. Uh, if you guys did enjoy it, then leave a like down below. And there's a lot of Dungeons content that's going to be coming in the future, so, you know, stay hyped for that. That's about it for today, and I'll see you all later. Peace.